Does Google know too much about us? If you're a user of Gmail and Google Drive and Google Docs today, think about how much of your life is stored on those platforms. Our entire life's history, you know, our family history, our professional history, our medical communications, all of that is basically stored in Google for one to two billion people in the world. Andrew Millage is a privacy advocate who wants people to have more private alternatives to the Google ecosystem. We don't really understand what Google is doing to our data, but they're definitely scanning and analyzing and looking into it. If you watch this show, you will know that I am constantly looking for alternatives to Google products. Not because Google products aren't high quality, but because I'm not comfortable giving so much of my personal information to a company who shares that information with thousands of other companies who then share it with thousands more. This is everything about your life. In this episode, we're gonna dive into two alternatives to the Google Docs editor suite, namely CryptPad and Skiff. Feel free to skip straight to our evaluations if you're just here for that. As always, neither product we're gonna cover is sponsoring the show. We don't actually do show sponsors. And in this case, both products are free and privacy focused. Specifically, they're end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that only the people working on the documents can see their content. Neither CryptPad nor Skiff can get access to what you write. Based on this, we played around with both products to see if they're good enough to be substitutes for Google Docs and Google Sheets. Why do we want to phase out Google Docs and Sheets? All of Google's products for collaboration are unencrypted. Every key you type, goes to Google, and then goes back to your computer. It doesn't have to be this way. Technology has drastically improved in both privacy technology and collaboration technology. You can have kind of totally performant, real-time, fast end-to-end -end encryption on phones, on computers, and all of our devices. 10, 15 years ago, it wasn't really possible. There's this whole new ecosystem of products that are end-to-end -end encrypted, that are built to be more private from the ground up. No server has access to the keys you type, to the data you know, inside your document, to the words you're saving, to any of the changes you're making. That basically lets you collaborate without you know, worrying or thinking about how your data is being used in the background. The way this new era of collaborative products works is you're essentially sending a stream of really tiny end-to-end -end encrypted messages back and forth. Each message contains an operation like bold, italics, I just typed the letter P. The browser collects each message, decrypts it, and- They'll kind of organize them in real time. You know, this happened first and this happened second and apply them to the blank document. This way, the browser reconstructs the document for each control contributor without any centralized party seeing its contents. This can be super helpful for people who need to collaborate in real time on something, but are dealing with sensitive information. You just don't really know how your data will be you know, used by governments or subpoenas or courts or big technology companies that are just doing things in the background you don't understand. We now have private collaboration tools that are starting to reach parity with non-private options. And it's great that people now have a choice to keep their data safe. Let's dive into the two options, starting with CryptPad. It's an entire collaborative work suite, and it feels very similar to Google Docs editing suite. You can create documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, whiteboards, slides, even Kanbans and code. First, select the document type you'd like and choose your settings. You can even add an expiry date. Once your encrypted document is created, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to store the document in your Crypt Drive or not. Think of Crypt Drive as analogous to your Google Drive, except the data stored isn't being sucked up by digital vampires. If you opt to save your doc into your Crypt Drive and are not logged in, a guest Crypt Drive will be created for you by default. You'll get to keep documents in this guest drive for 90 days before they disappear. And note that clearing your browser's history may also make them disappear. If you save to your crypt drive and also create an account or log into an existing one, the document will be stored indefinitely. A great feature of CryptPad is that you don't need to give away any personal information in order to create an account. Now an important note about account creation. The password you choose is the secret key that encrypts all of your documents. If you lose it, there will be no way for you to recover your data. So store this password safely. The rich text documents and spreadsheets feel incredibly similar to Google Docs and Sheets. And I didn't feel like I was lacking any functionality. I could easily import documents into both and they were instantly editable. To import Microsoft Word, Google Docs, and LibreOffice Writer Docs into an editable format, you first have to save those docs as an HTML file. Then open a blank rich text doc and click import. You can also export docs back into either an HTML or doc file type. Converting a Word document to HTML format and importing it into CryptPad worked seamlessly without any hiccups or issues with formatting, which was a great relief. I did notice though that going from Google Docs to HTML format and then importing that into CryptPad, 
I lost some of my formatting, so be aware of that issue if importing from Google Drive. You can also import spreadsheets directly from both Excel and Open Documents formats into an editable format on CryptPad. Create a blank sheet and then click Import for either of these file types. My personal experience, the Excel import worked like a treat, but I had some trouble preserving some formatting when importing the open documents format. Inside the different document types, there are all kinds of other features. For example, you can go to history to revert back to previous versions of the doc. You can also use your crypt drive for storing any file format. CryptPad is fully open source, which is a huge win when it comes to a privacy product. All data is end-to-end -end encrypted in the browser, which means no readable data leaves the user's device. Even the service administrators cannot see the contents of the documents or user data. They even have encrypted support tickets. To share a file, click share and choose the level of access you want to grant. You can even create a cool self-destruct link, which I really appreciate. But a warning, the link that is created actually contains the decryption keys to the document. Anyone who has the link will have non-revocable access to your document, so be careful who you share it with. CryptPad is free to use, but you can also pay to upgrade and get more storage. If you do this, Stripe or Quaderno will process your payment and you'll be required to hand over personally identifiable information. While I wish there were an option to pay privately, you also don't have to pay in order to use the product. I would recommend tipping them if you do use it though, it's a nice thing to do. To summarize CryptPad, the pros. Really seamless product. I was surprised and impressed with how much like Google it felt. I expected there to be a lot of issues, but it was actually very polished. They have a high priority on privacy and their work suite is really fleshed out with lots of document types to choose from and it's all open source. Cons, there's no private payment option if you want to upgrade, and there were some minor formatting issues converting between certain document types, but there was super minor and not a huge issue for me. All in all, CryptPad is a really high-end product and definitely a viable substitute for Google Docs editing suite. In 2018, they even won the NGI Award for Privacy and Trust Enhanced Technologies in Europe. Now let's look at Skiff, a private alternative to Google Docs, where Andrew Millich is actually the CEO. We want Skiff to be a really really simple and intuitive privacy first workspace. Skiff is a pretty new product and their work suite doesn't currently have the range of document type options that CryptPad does. Currently, Skiff includes text docs and email, both end-to-end -end encrypted. But inside their docs product, there are a lot of cool templates that you can use. Things like to-do lists, task trackers, journal, even incident follow-up reports and team directories. You can also just start with a blank sheet where you'll be given a title, description, and then the document body after the divider. Once you start typing, the template and import options will disappear and you can start your document. In the current document product, you can do tables, you can do rich text, you can do formatting, you can do headings and font sizes, you can insert images. You'll find some of these options at the bottom of the doc, but if you type slash, you'll get a bunch more functions. You can import both Word doc and Google doc formats directly into Skiff without having to save them first in HTML format. Another feature that sets them apart is that you can import documents directly from Google Drive by linking your account. Just click import, select Google Drive and sign in. Skiff never has access to your Google account. They don't even know the account that you're signing in with. All encryption of your documents is done client-side in the browser, and then they're uploaded to Skiff. This makes the switching cost of moving from Google Drive to a more private alternative much easier. One disclaimer for importing and exporting documents, not all formatting is supported in Skiff. So some of the formatting of your doc, like strike throughs and highlighting, won't currently transfer over. Skiff doesn't yet offer an alternative to Google Sheets, but they do offer tables with basic functionality inside their docs. You can filter them, you can add labels, you can add dates and different types of columns and checkboxes. When sharing a doc, the same rules apply as with CryptPad. You need to be careful with whom you share the link because it contains the key to decrypt the document. As before, you can choose the level of access that you want to grant. You can do read-only documents, you can do read-only publications as well, which is an awesome feature. You want to share end-to-end encrypted links that are read-only. They also auto-save as you go and allow you to revert back to previous versions of the docs. We'll give you 24 hours of version history for all of your documents for free. 
And if you upgrade, you'll get unlimited version history. Skiff also works like an encrypted storage drive for any file format, but they do it in a novel way. You can drag the file directly onto a Skiff page and store it there inside the document, rather than in a folder. This is kind of cool and something that I hadn't seen before. One other thing that Skiff does a little differently is they offer support for decentralized storage and have integrated with IPFS. IPFS is the interplanetary file system. It basically lets you store little pieces of data across multiple computers. Basically, instead of using Skiff's centralized server to store your end-to-end -end encrypted documents, you can store them using IPFS, which decentralizes the data. If you don't want you know, this article you're publishing to be stored on a big tech data center, IPFS can be a great alternative for you. The privacy guarantees also extend beyond end-to-end -end encrypting documents. You can use Skiff without sharing a single piece of personal information. We have no persistent access to your IP address or device information or anything else. And they enable non-KYC payments by supporting crypto. We want to build an ecosystem of products that help people work and collaborate and communicate more freely and more creatively and more effectively. And so being able to pay for our product privately is just so clearly connected to that mission. So the summary, pros, integration with IPFS, crypto payments. I love their commitment to privacy and that they're very clear that you can use their tool anonymously. I like the novel approach to storage and it's also nice that they're integrated with an end-to-end -end encrypted email service. Cons, Skiff is currently a less fleshed out product suite than CryptPad at this early stage and losing some of my formatting when importing documents is something that you'll need to be mindful of when using it. But given their strong stance on privacy and how comfortable this makes me feel to collaborate on more sensitive things, they definitely have a place in my privacy toolbox. We just want to make everything you know, private by default, empower your creativity and your ability to communicate freely. So is it possible right now to reasonably switch off Google Docs editing suite to more private alternatives? I think absolutely. The technology has gotten really good with end-to-end -end encrypting collaborative documents, and it's only going to get better. It's such an exciting time for privacy. In a world where end-to-end -end encryption and privacy is not just possible, but you can experience that with products that are as good and as easy to use and as simple, there's just no question. I think we can deliver a seamless, high quality, even better user experience than existing collaborative and communication products out there and have absolutely no need for transparent access to users' data. So give some of these tools a try and let me know what you think. If you have a favorite end-to-end -end encrypted alternative that you use, please let me know.